Hello, Paul Chapman here. Welcome to the second of my introductory tutorials on the Word Bible software. This is just a beginner's uh, series of tutorials. Today I'd like to introduce you to the Word uh, Bible Search feature uh, window. Now that Bible Search uh, view window is brought up from tutorial number one. You'll remember this icon here brings up new windows. So I can click on this icon to bring up a new Bible search view. Remember, the Bible search view is used to search the Bible view window. So let's bring that up and I now have a Bible search view window open. A second way I could bring that up would be over here at my view menu. Uh, search the Bible. I could also bring it up by clicking on this little green icon here, this uh, green icon with the binoculars. I can also hit that to bring up a Bible search view as well. If I click on that, um, it will um, activate that window. Now let's say um, on my hands are on the keyboard, I could also hit the F10 key. If I hit the F10 key, it opens up that window as well. Hit F10 again, and it will open up a new window. Now the difference between F10 and F3 is you'll notice if I hit F3 once, it opens up the window, hitting it again, it just simply will have the cursor activating the search field. Hitting it, and no matter how many times I hit it, when the cursor is in that field, it's just ready there to, for me to search. However, if I hit F10 key, it will open up a new window, hit F10 again, and opens up a new window again. So um, that's just the difference between F10 and F3. F3 is to open up a search view window and then to activate the search field. So there we have it. I've got the word love because we're going to search on that. I did a previous search uh, and now I'm going to do a search again for it. The word love and let's give this a whirl. By the way, before I do, I just wanted to show you too. You can also, if you don't want to have the window displayed here, you can also, if you're doing a, 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 um, a large search, you can also undock this window. We can have it always floating and we can have it floating there. So now I can just focus totally on my search view. And I can close that and bring that up at any time by hitting the F3 key. So there you go. So right now though, I want to dock that back at the um, left there. Now remember to hit this, to do that I hit this green uh, drop down uh, icon here and I can say docked or always floating, no, but dock to uh, bottom left, which is this one up here. And there we have it now docking there. And you can do that with any of these windows, as you can see here. They can all be either floating or docked to wherever, wherever you want them on the screen. And that's how you can set up your layouts, by the way, uh, your own personal layouts. Um, what else do I want to show you here? I'd like to uh, do a search on the word love, L-O-V-E. So uh, let's do that right now, L-O-V-E. And uh, we can bring that up. There we go. There we go, uh, 547 hits for the word L-O-V-E. Now, I've got this displaying the hits uh, per book. There's 14, and this uh, column here shows us how many hits there are in the book. And I have a graphical representation of hits in that book versus total hits. Here, they're 3%, and uh, you can see there, so scroll through that very quickly through using the slider bar, I can see a very graphical view of of the relative hits per book for the word L-O-V-E. Down here in Song of Solomon I have 54, which is the largest representation, and John, the Gospel of John has 39, and uh, 1st John has 29. But my next question now is, how do I view those references? Well, this icon here, I can drop, use the expand the tree icon to expand it down to the verse references, and hovering my mouse over any one of those will pop out a window. That's a little setting you can set up here in uh, the Word to do that. Or else I can click on one of those references and it'll pop up in my Bible view. Or I can click this icon up the top here, of, uh, just below the search field for the Bible search view. And I can click that icon and it will now display the Bible verse view uh, in the Bible verses ne right next to the reference in my Bible search view. And that's quite handy if my uh, window was floating, I could just quickly scroll through very easily like that to see those hits. Now as I do this you'll notice that the word L-O-V-E is actually has in some of the hits has no reference to love because over here in Leviticus 11.26 it talks about cloven footed because I've searched for L-O-V-E in sequence 
but it's giving me not just the word love, but also every other word that has L-O-V-E in it. So that's not what I want. Let me put this, this uh, back to the left. Let me put it back to the left here. Now, how do I then get the uh, word L-O-V-E by itself as a unique hit? Well, down below here, I have a detailed tab. If I click on the detailed tab, I now have some options for my searches. Here I can do Boolean searches, and at that time, the previous search I did an uh, all search. Down here I have whole words only. If I click on there, I can click whole words, and now do a search, and that should give me what I want, which is just the whole word love. And yes, there I go, now down to 281 matches for the word love. So that's it on individual words. Now, how about if I want to do a multiple word search? I know there's a verse that has love and spirit in it. Um, so let me do a search on there. And there we go. I now have 737 matches for the words love and spirit. But look at this. There's the word spirit, but there's not the word love. Here I have the word love, but not the word spirit. So how do I get the word love and spirit? Well, going back to my detail tab, you'll see down here that, is this what you are looking for? Love or spirit? No, it wasn't. I'm wanting love and spirit. So back up here, I can click the and, and now my billion search is love and spirit. And now if I do a hit, the return key on that, it brings me up now verses with love and spirit. And now we're back down to seven verses. So there you go. Just using that little detail tab to make sure you're searching for whole words and whether they're uh, if you want both words in the same verse make sure we have and activated and whole words only so there you have it now how about phrase searches that's the next thing I would like to do at times is a phrase search I know there's a reference I want uh, that has a word a phrase in it uh, for argument's sake Jesus did say if you love me keep my commandments where's that Bible verse I've forgotten it well I can do um, a phrase search by push, putting down inverted commas, uh, putting in there, uh, love me, keep my commandments, love me, keep my commandments, close inverted commas, and I hit, it, hit return key, and it gives me zero matches in the King James Version. But just a minute, I'm sure Jesus said those words. Let me uh, see if I... Shrink that down to keep my commandments, and let's do a search on that. Yes, there it is. And yes, there's Jesus' words. If you love me, keep my commandments. So why didn't it come up the first time? Well, clicking on that, you'll notice that over here that the comma occurs between me and keep. You see this phrase search uh, uh, feature is very specific. We need to make sure we have the punctuation correct. So I'll put the comma in after my. If you love me, let me just put that again, love me, uh, keep my commandments. And yes, there we go. If you love me, keep my commandments. So there you have it. A phrase searches uh, very quickly to, um, very quick to come up as well. Well, that's all for this tutorial. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section below and I'll be happy to answer them. If you have any other features you'd like to explain a bit further, uh, please ask that as well and I'll try and explain it in future tutorials. Well, that's it for now. Till next time, take care, God bless and have a great day. Bye for now.